Hello everyone, a quick report here. So the new report have uh, revealed that cashed up Chinese foreign investors are snatching up millions of dollars worth of Australian houses, vastly more than a buyers from anywhere else in the world. It's not really news to everyone, but uh, this gives uh, some numbers according to Treasury data reported in the Daily Telegraph. People in China invested about 700 million dollars into Aussie housing in the first three months of this year, uh, 2023. Today's 20th of uh, July 2023, by the way. So, Treasury data shows that uh, that actually equates to about 7.8 million dollars a day invested and put into Aussie property by Chinese uh, every day for the first 90 days or thereabouts of the 2023. However, the real estate agency PRD's chief economist uh, said that the true level of uh, foreign buying was a grey area because the official data was based on citizenship and the address of the purchaser what they can't really do is track where the money is coming from and quote uh, so even with the number looking so high it's probably not as high as the real number uh, given that uh, this is declared from Chinese buyers having a Chinese address and or Chinese citizenship and uh, the number is likely to be much higher and obviously we, once we put the, the, the Hong Kong, which is part of China, was the second on the list of foreign investment at about $100 million over the quarter, followed by Vietnam, Taiwan, Singapore and India. So we put China plus Hong Kong, which is really all China together, and we have $800 million uh, invested into Aussie property in the first quarter of 2023. Um, it's a big number. It's always been a big number. Uh, no changes there. Will it continue? We know that China is experiencing a property slump, but the talks uh, of the property slump in China have been uh, going on for a long time. Uh, hasn't really affected the rest of the world uh, substantially. We'll see if it does.